We're live at Austin Straubel Airport this morning. Emily Deem is previewing National Learn to Fly Day. Hi, Em. Good morning, Pete. Hi, everybody. Yeah, National Learn to Fly Day is next Saturday. We're out here at Austin Straubel. We're with everyone from Jet Air, where they're actually going to be having an open house to celebrate the day. And you could come out here. You could learn to fly if you wanted to, check out demos, um, try out the flight simulator that I already did this morning. We are in a plane that is beautiful. I'm with Wayne Bushmaker this morning, chief flight instructor out here. So we wanted to show people too, kind of the technology and how much planes really, you know, have upgraded over the years. So what's so awesome about this plane? Well, this plane has more computers and obviously computer screens that display the information presented to the pilot. And this type of format is much easier uh, for the human eye to uh, use and it, it makes uh, flying a much more safer uh, task. In kind of the older versions, what are we looking at when we're, when we're trying to read stuff? Um, well, you have the same flight instruments as you did before, but like I said, it's, it's in a much easier format for, for the pilots to use. And there are going to be a bunch of different planes that you're going to use for people to, you know, go flying if they want to next Saturday, maybe take a few lessons, right? Yep, we offer uh, airplane rides next Saturday, and um, during any time of the year, if people are interested in an airplane ride, we sell Discovery Flights, which are a half-hour airplane ride around Green Bay, and uh, you get to see a lot of neat stuff, Lambeau Field, downtown Green Bay, you can even take a picture of your house. Well, we actually got to go up in the air, and if you take a look out there, you can see that plane N62527. Yeah, that's the one that we went up in this morning, so I wanted to show you what we saw when we were up there. Take a look. We are up in the air. This is unbelievable. Wayne Bushmaker is here with me this morning, my flight instructor. Um, you know, we did that simulator before, and this is what you're seeing and what you're relying on. It's unbelievable that we can't see a thing. It's all white. So tell me how you're navigating right now with this weather. Well, right now we're using the basic six instruments that we talked about before. We're also relying heavily on our navigation radios and GPS to uh, get us safely where we're going. So for someone like me that would be a first time, you know, wanting to learn how to fly, this wouldn't be ideal weather, correct? Correct. How often do you have to train uh, before you could go up in weather like this if you needed to fly? Um, you have to train uh, quite a bit, um, probably about 30, 30 hours or so. 30 hours? <laughs> yep. But looking down, I mean, we see nothing but, but clouds. 270527. Yes, and uh, that's why it's very difficult, because you can't see anything. You have to rely entirely upon your instruments in order to fly. So I just heard you say something right there. Who are you speaking to? Uh, we're talking to the air traffic controllers. And what are you talking to them about? Um, they're telling me headings to fly right now. They're guiding me into the uh, to the airport. And so right now, we can't see anything, but we're pretty much over, what, Green Bay, Ashwaubenon? Yep, we're uh, over uh, just to the south uh, east of the airport. Pretty cool stuff. So it was unfortunate that it was cloudy out, but still a really cool experience. And Wayne seriously did a great job. So coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, I actually got to land the plane. With Wayne's help, though, he had to assist me in that. But you're going to want to see that video and some other images that we captured up there. We'll send it back to you. Very cool. Thanks, Em.